hello hello welcome back to my channel today we're about to get into some things okay i'm going to be talking about normani coco jones and mona leo firstly i'm going to be talking about coco jones now coco jones is someone who came up as a child star on the disney channel with the likes of selena gomez raven simone zendaya and coco jones was featured on the disney original movie let it shine and she did phenomenal she did phenomenal on that show now one thing about disney when they see that you have star power they will try and recycle recycle and recycle until they get every single drop of talent out of that person and when that person comes out of the contract they just feel unfulfilled and they go on some some of them go on to become like a little bit crazy and a little bit weird like i said coco jones um worked on let it shine with disney and pretty much after that we didn't hear much from her i heard she released a couple of music and um an album i think and then we heard nothing i mean nothing See, i feel like it was 2020 when the coco jones video started going viral when she was explaining how disney almost ruined her career by promising her the earth and above like they were promising her everything promising her, her own show more music to work with or to produce rather and nothing she didn't get nothing back from disney they practically scrapped her career away like gave her nothing and coco jones was just like working on the ground going for modeling gigs acting gigs and stuff and she wasn't really in the mainstream eye up until the reboot of fresh prince of bel-air which is titled bel-air now and coco jones is the star of that movie her outfits chef's kids on fire on point bam af and this is emancipation of coco jones period now she talks about why she was you know kept to the side and you know backed for so many years now this is something that is so so crazy because like i don't know what hollywood wants from dark skin women i don't know their fixation with lighter skin or racially ambiguous women like what is this about them like i know i might give off pick me energy but i don't really care because i'm trying so hard to see what the problem is with hollywood why don't they accept dark dark skin women like what is the problem honestly what is the problem what is the problem actually the problem is rooted in colorism featureism texturism period this person i'm going to be talking about is normani now normani was part of the now defunct band fifth harmony and when normani was in fifth harmony normani was really overlooked and even though she gave up the star power that everybody could undeniably see she was still pushed to the back and normani came finally with her solo debut song motivation in 2018 stroke 19 like the looks were looking the give was given the choreo was choreoing like period she was a shit when she released motivation but before that she had a little bit collaborations on the side with black um sam smith and khalid but motivation was her breakout single after motivation she did only like one live performance at the 2018 vma performance or 2019 if i'm correct vma um performance and that was about it we've not heard anything from the money after then up until 2021 when she released wild side featuring cardi b now this was a huge deal but at the same time this like raised questions like what is wrong with normani why is she not dropping new songs why is she not dropping why is she not dropped a debut album and we got to know that this is like not solely normani's fault and it's also the fault of her record label rca if you do not know normani is signed to rca which houses big names like whiskey sia formerly Zayn, um, formerly Tinashe, um, Pentatonics, and some other powerhouses are uh, housed under that label. And, you know, people were, you know, upset about it. When she released Wild Side, people were not really here for it because they felt like, oh, it's too late. Like, but the main issue with that song was that her team did nothing to prom promote it. There was no live performances for Wild Side at all and the icing on top of the cake was that she had to use her money to fund 
the music video. Like I don't see the I don't get the point of you being in a record label if your record label cannot promote and fund your projects. Like what the hell? That was sus AF period. And after a while tide, Normani didn't release a song. So now the issue is what is wrong with Normani? Why is Normani not, you know, breaking out like her peers like Chloe Bailey, um, Lato? What is wrong with Normani? Very simple. Colorism. Because while well, she's a dark skinned lady. This is why I said Hollywood has a fixation on racially ambiguous women and light-skinned women and the last person i want to talk about is mona leo now i don't really know much about mona leo but i know that she's a black rapper a dark-skinned beautiful i said it's so beautiful i'm sorry she's so beautiful beautiful rapper and she came up with the likes of i think mona leo was coming up at the time when bia was trending lato was you know stepping up her game after changing her name from mulato to lato i think doja cat too was on the rise when mona leo but she came up when those um female artists were coming up and rappers were coming up but mona leo is talented i'm so sorry mona leo is talented but no she's receiving so much pushback because she's a dark-skinned female rapper and one thing about the hip-hop industry they will never promote a dark-skinned female rapper because they feel like she's not pretty enough she's not you know she doesn't have the oomph enough and that's really sad that's really sad another problem can we see the common thing here colorism now if you've watched that viral video do you believe in colorism and do you feel like it's easier as a, a female rapper to like make it big when you're like of a lighter complexion believe in colorism colorism is very real mona leo had to reinstate that yes she suffers colorism and other dark-skinned women in the entertainment and hollywood industry suffer colorism so people should stop trying to make it seem like they're just coining a term and nothing is really hard um, yeah i hope you enjoyed today's video let me know if you gained something from it i just wanted to talk about it because it was heavy on my chest also do check out my other videos i do want to link it down in my description bar and also the icon of the profile convenience and as always child i will see you on the next one peace